What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what to do if your laptop or desktop does come up a blue screen with the message, your PC ran into a problem with sometimes it does have a QR code, sometimes it doesn't. But regardless, I'm gonna be sharing with you what to do if you do experience that error message. Let's get right into this. So to fix your computer, if you did experience the your PC ran into a problem blue screen message, it can be an easy fix and there is three methods that you can try before taking it in somewhere to be repaired, which can be very, very costly depending on what is happening to your laptop. So I do recommend checking out these three methods first before taking it in somewhere to be repaired. So starting off with method one, you are gonna press and hold the power button to start the laptop or computer. You're then, whenever the Windows logo does appear, you're going to press and hold the power button again to turn off the computer. You're gonna repeat those steps about three times until the preparing automatic repair screen does appear and it's gonna look like this. Now, once finished loading, you should be in the automatic repair menu. Now, when you're here, you're gonna click on advanced options. Next, click on troubleshoots, then advanced options. Once in advanced options, you're gonna click on uninstall updates. Then uninstall updates then uninstall latest update. And on the next screen, you're gonna once again, click uninstall latest updates. Now this will take a while, but once it's done, it should boot up normally. And this should also pause any updates for your computer for 30 days, after which points, hopefully Microsoft does have a new updates and you'll update that one instead of the problematic one. Now, if your computer does come up with the blue screen once again, and it is shutting off saying that your PC ran into a problem, now try method two. Method two, you're gonna make your way back to the automatic repair screen by turning on and turning off your laptop about three times like I mentioned in step one. This time you're gonna click advanced options, then you're gonna click troubleshoot, then you're gonna click advanced options. This time you're gonna click start up repair. By clicking this, Windows will attempt to fix the problem. If it did fix the problem, great, but if it does come up, start up, repair, couldn't fix your PC, click shutdown and then move on to method three. So for method three on how to fix your PC if it ran into a problem with the blue screen, you're gonna once again make your way back to the automatic repair menu by turning on and turning off your laptop about three times like I mentioned in the previous steps. Again, you're gonna click advanced options, then you're gonna click troubleshoot. This time you're gonna click restart this PC. Now you can choose keep files or remove everything. By removing everything, you will lose everything, all your files, photos, every single thing. By selecting keep my files, it will remove all apps and programs that didn't come with the computer and reinstall Windows without losing and removing any of your personal files. Now before selecting keep files or remove everything, make sure that if you are using a laptop, it is plugged in because this may take a while. Once you do make your selection, you're gonna simply click reset and then you are going to wait. As I said, this will definitely take a while. Now, whenever your computer does finish reinstalling, there will be a file on your desktop called removed apps. This shows a list of the apps removed so you can reinstall them one by one. So there you have it, the three methods that are usually the easy fixes for if your laptop or computer is having a blue screen with a message, your PC ran into a problem. Most of the time, these fixes do work for people. Usually it's the first method, but if you have to go all the way through all three methods to get it to work, hopefully that does work for you and hopefully you don't have to take it into somebody to get it repaired. If after the third method, you still receive that blue screen with the notes, your PC ran into a problem and it is restarting, then you will have to take it into repairs because there is a bigger problem with your computer than an easy fix can deal with. So hope this helped fix your problem. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.